Hi guys, welcome back to another episode in the I'm GY series. Before starting, as always, please subscribe and leave a like because it helps me a lot and make sure to join Discord server if you want to talk with other developers, participate in giveaways and get any kind of coding help. So yeah, subscribe and like and let's get right into the video. Today I want to teach you how to make a custom sized buttons and how to put them wherever you want in your GUI. So set them a custom size and a custom position uh, in your window. So we're going to do this right now and I'll show you how it's pretty easy. But uh, with this occasion, I want to re-explain what I'm vector 2 is because we're going to use it a lot. So let's start by creating a normal button. If you watched previous videos, you should know how. So if I'm GY button, let's give it a name as we did for the one here, right? I'm guy, let's say test, right? So we open. So now we have a button called test. But as you may know from the last video, if we hover over button, you see we also have a optional argument which is constant I'm vector to size. So after test here, we can type a comma and we can uh, give him uh, give the button a size. So what we're going to do now is going to type I'm vector to open brackets and inside I'm vector to is going to ask for two uh, values. It's going to ask for an X value and a Y value. Because we are referring to size and not position, X value will mean the width and y value will mean the height. So let's say we want to have a square button. So for that, we're going to go something like 50 for x and 50 for y. And now our button will have this size right here. So we can actually build our project to check this. And as you can see, this is the original button with the original size, and this is the test button we just created, which has the exact size that we gave it, 50 by 50, you see it's a square button. Now, how do we actually set the position to this button? So let's say we want a custom position button. So we can open this again, and let's say we want the button to be aligned on the right here. Now. A pretty useful tool, any screenshot tool should have, like Sherix, a coordinate position. And you can see if I drag to here, everything starts at 560, let's say. And let's say we want it at 960. So our X pos should go uh, by 400 more. So let's try to put it on the right here. If we want to put it at the same height, just on the right here, we're only going to change the X pos. So if we want to change the position of something, we're going to use I'm GY before that something. So before our button here, I'm guy set cursor pos. Basically, we set the point where we start drawing. And we're going to set again an I'm vector 2, but this time X and Y would be the coordinates, not the height and width. So let's say we want 400 for the first value and the height, let's say 100, right? Because we want it on the right and like this. Let's build it again, see what happens. And as you can see, we have our button on the right now. Again, you can play with the Y coordinate a bit. So let's, by example, say double that, or actually let's add 50 to it. You can go here. 150 again build it and you can see it's lower so we have an exact custom size where you can put your things so custom size and custom um position on the gui screen also you can use i'm guy set cursor pos to set the position or any or anything so let's say we want to set the position of this slider so we put it before there and if we build it now let's do so real quick i exit the omgi master okay examples 
DirectX 11 release and here we go. As you can see, it's going to be here because it's centered, but that's how you gave a custom position to an element in your IMG UI. This is a shorter video, but this information will be very useful when we start making actual menus because we will have to um, give a custom size to our buttons so they look good and maybe a custom position. Maybe you want to put them at the top or at the right or the left, and this will help you a lot. You can also use percentages here rather than uh, constant values or you can use variables but I'll let you experiment with that yourself. So if you want something to try until the next video, create a variable and instead of creating two int variables and instead of this, make the variables, put the variables here and then make another button or a slider to change that variable and see how the button moves in real time. It should be easy to do. And yeah, if you want to try something at home, try to do this. Until next video, please subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching. And in the next video, we'll do something pretty cool. All right. See you guys later.